Hi guys, Laura Klinsberg has been given her own show on the BBC. Why? I have no idea. But it doesn't seem to be off to a very good start. Now, you would imagine her face-to-face -face interview with both Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss would have attracted massive ratings. But instead, people are watching their reaction to the pathetic display. And no better person to highlight what a farce the Tories and their leadership have become than comedian Joe Lycett. Have a listen to what he had to say. What did you make of it now have you calmed down? She has to go I'm from not, the I'm... campaign to the country, but tell us honestly what you thought. Well, so uh, you said earlier that I'm not left or right. I'm actually, I know that there's been criticism in the, uh, the Mail on Sunday today about lefty, liberal, wokey comedians on the BBC. I'm actually very right wing and I loved it. I thought she was very clear. She gave great clear answers. I know exactly what she's up to. And I think she's, uh, most people watching at home who are worried about their bills are going to feel... There's a serious point, Joe. Forgive me. There's a I'm serious not being point. sarcastic. She said that there was a big package of help coming this week yeah. for people to help pay their bills. She was very clear what she said. And I, I, I'm, I think you know exactly what's going to happen. I think you're reassured. I'm reassured. Are you reassured? Well, Emily Thornbury, so reassured. you're smirking over there. Politics. <laughs> just, just to highlight the point here that it's a joke. Liz Truss is a joke. And the only way to deal with a joke is with another joke and Joe here is obviously taking the taking the piss he realizes that you know Liz Truss is not a serious candidate is not a will not be a serious politician or prime minister and how can you react to this you can't respond to this with seriousness you just have to laugh it off because it's a joke she is a joke can be very very unpredictable i mean mm. let's look at two different opinions in the papers this yes. morning you have a columnist um matthew syed who's basically predicting that it's going to be a nightmare and that the leadership contest has been out of touch with the country but janet daly in the telegraph says look actually liz truss is stronger than you think if she gets cracking yeah. gets out there she might be Fair able to janet i think you know the haters will say that you've had 12 years of the tories and that we're sort of at the dregs of what they've got available and that Liz Truss is sort of like the backwash of the available MPs. I wouldn't say that because I'm incredibly right wing, but some people might say that. But the consensus, though, in politics is often wrong, right? Yeah. I mean, it's often it's often wrong and we often don't know what is going to pan out. Yeah. Well, as, as Liz said there, she said she would be wrong to predict the future, even though loads of people have predicted that we're going to have real issues with paying our energy bills. But, um, you know, I think she's right to just then just sort of basically say, well, let's not predict and see what happens next week. Okay. I think she did the right thing there. Well, let's talk about something. <laughs> Laura Kinsberg probably thought it was a good idea to bring on a comedian um, and expect them to treat Liz Truss as a serious individual. As I said, Liz Truss is not a serious individual. Liz Truss is a joke. Now, we thought that Boris Johnson was a comedian. Boris Johnson was a clown. It seems that those are big shoes to fill and it seems that Liz Truss is able to fill those shoes because she's going to be exactly the same as Boris Johnson. Um, but with less comedy, it seems. A joke, but with less comedy. Lorna Kleinsberg has been trying to turn this into something serious, but it has been a failure. The next number of months is going to be just another mess i'm trying to use i'm trying to avoid any sort of bad language here but it's going to be an absolute mess there's a cost of living crisis liz truss is responding to this with non-serious answers things non-serious solutions like cutting taxes talking about how she's going to support trickle down economics which has been ridiculed from pillar to post for the, for the last number of decades and now she's uh, talking about how, well, if we give money to the rich, it will eventually trickle its way down to people uh, who are struggling at the moment to pay their bills. And, well, we shouldn't predict, we shouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen over the next number of months or the next year, uh, because nobody can really do that. Um, forecasts are talking about eight, between 18.6% and 22% inflation. Now, let's hope that doesn't happen, but you need to plan for that. And unfortunately, Liz Truss doesn't have a plan. She's talking about perhaps one in a week's time while people are struggling and while businesses are closing. 
As I said, she's not a serious candidate and she will not be a serious prime minister. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.